Hello and welcome to this episode of Hampton Roads Business Live. My name is Rory Graham and I'm your host and today we have the pleasure of having with us Jasmine Andrews uh, who is the author of The Sullied Bride. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Uh, why don't we just start, uh, you're a published author and you, you are from this area? Yes, I grew up in rural Chesapeake. Okay, and uh, it's an interesting title <laughs> of a book. <laughs> what, what motivated you to write that? Well, I was motivated to write the book because of various experiences where I've seen women who were being abused and I've seen people using faith to justify abuse so that the women don't necessarily leave this abusive situation or even feel that it's something that they deserve. So the term sullied bride comes from the sense of, you know, you have the woman as a bride, but she's been sullied, it's somewhat of an archaic word, but defiled, disrespected in a lot of ways because a lot of it's based on old fashioned values that necessarily aren't consistent with what's biblical or what's what, what is correct. Mm -hmm. Okay, so misrepresentation. Exactly. All right, and so uh, my next question would be, why do you believe women need more representation in the media? Women need more representation in the media because people believe what they see and a lot of the representations of women in the media have been somewhat tailored from a very narrow perspective of what the identity of a woman is. Either she's the Jezebel or she's the seducer or she's the passive victim waiting to be saved. And that is not the message that we want women to continue to go forward with and we want women to actually really know who they are and so they need representation in media from their own perspective that's not filtered through somebody else. Okay, so they need positive a positive uh, representation. Yes, women need positive okay. role models. All right. And so how, uh, how can film be used uh, to send empowering messages then? Well, film has been used to send extremely negative messages. So that's that's what I was thinking when I was reading that. I said, well, you know. <laughs> so the converse would be right. that film could be used in the, the same manner to send these very positive messages. Because like I said, people believe what they see. So is your audience young girls? I would say, well, not too young because I'm not necessarily in the, in the children's realm because right, I take right, on very... I meant young adults. Yes, young yeah. adults. I take on very serious topics and everything, but it's, yes, very young women and even older women who maybe have experienced these things their whole life and maybe just realize, well, you know, even though it's been going on for years and years, it doesn't have to be this way even into your older age. Okay, so you're... Um you're a believer that uh, there needs to be equality between the sexes. Yes, right? or yeah. equality just in general because there's intersectionality between all minority groups where there's inequality. But it's important to establish equality in the sense that women do not defer their authority. Uh, women are often given the message that they need to ask somebody first or check with their husband or check with their father before they make a decision. And yes, you do check with other people because you're not a tyrant, but when you are making a decision, you don't defer your authority. You don't change or just go with what somebody else says just because they said it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and so what's the one message you would like to leave women with? I would just like to leave women with the message that, you know, you are equal and that nobody else should challenge or make you feel that you are less than equal and you should not accept anything less than what you expect or what you want. That's pretty powerful. <laughs> uh, and you're a filmmaker, right? Yes. Okay, and you're presently working on one? Yes. Okay, all right. Does it have a working title yet? Yes, the working title right now is The Curse of Eve. So it's a suspense, faith-based thriller. I see, okay, and where is this being done? In, in this area, yeah. uh, Charles City County, Chesapeake, um, Def different editing, you know, locations and everything, but. Okay. All right, and um, uh, when do you think that'll be out? I am completed. I am looking to have it completed by the end of the summer. End of the summer. Yes. Okay. All right. That's a pretty fast production schedule for a film. Yes, yes it is. Okay, all right, and uh, is that one that's going to be straight to TV, or is this uh, one for a film festival, or? Yes. Straight <laughs> to TV or bo both? I'm keeping all my options open for oh, distribution. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, okay. Is there anything I haven't asked you that you wanted to mention? Uh, well, I would just like to mention that if you would like a copy of Sullied Bride, it is available 
at Amazon.com, Barnes and Nobles, <laughs> or wherever books are sold. All right, so so it's on on Barnes and Noble as well. Yes. Okay, cool. All right, is it actually in the bookstores too? Yes. Or, oh, really? Okay, yes. good. Because most people that I that I've interviewed, a lot of them anyway, uh, they're they're online at Amazon, but they're not in the they're not in a bookstore. Like if you go up here to Barnes and Noble, they're not there. Uh, but uh, that's good to know. Okay. All right. So. If you'd like a, uh, uh, an empowering book, you might uh, uh, go and find or order The Sully Bride uh, and look for this movie coming out here um, sometime after the summer. Uh, and uh, I thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. Uh, and if you'd like more information uh, or need, would like to contact uh, Jasmine, her information is at the bottom of this page and it's also at the end of this video. So I thank you very much for coming in and wish you a great deal of continued success. Thank you. All right, thanks. Thank you.